we interrupt your regular scheduled Light Bright Nation programming with a quick news update. Get it, Jelly. Go get it. So before we start talking about just how shitty Jeep windshields are, to all of our YouTube subscribers, don't worry. Yes, there is a discount code for you in this video. Now, for all of our E3 off-road members, you guys have probably already been notified, but keep a heads up because there will be an exclusive discount coming your way as well. And then, of course, speaking of E3 off-road, obviously, we will be giving away the 2020 Jeep Gladiator very soon, as in, like, in a week or two. The winner, however, won't be announced until the end of October. But as soon as we announce that winner, there is another giveaway coming your way way this time hundreds of prizes worth tens of thousands of dollars from dozens of our off-road industry partners and then of course talking about e3 association obviously you guys know kevin and i own e3 off-road and of course brad trail recon has his e3 overland but we're excited to finally announce that our friends over at keep your daydream are finally coming out with e3 camping to the b-roll Got a ton of rad stuff coming to you guys for the end of 2020 but for now let's go ahead and start talking about how shitty jeep windshields are and how you can finally permanently fix it what's up light bright nation and welcome back to cincinnati ohio at high lift off road now we're actually loading up we are about ready to leave for the next leg of our journey but before we do we wanted to give the stepchild here a little extra tlc so there is an issue with all jeeps honestly but definitely still with the jls and the jt the new gladiator that everyone is aware of everyone freaking hates the crap out of and there has been zero solution whatsoever for the new JL and the new JT until now and that is that that windshield right there the factory windshield is absolute garbage now for those of you that don't know this is our third check it third windshield that we've had on our JL and that's considered lucky honestly but we were actually lucky enough to install an aftermarket glass this very last time we did it and it performed a little bit better than the factory glass but not by much so you can still see we have taken all sorts of freaking hits all over this windshield over the last like year since we've had this the only difference is at least on this glass all of these hits didn't spread because whereas on the factory glass usually the moment you get a chip within seconds and we've proven this because it happened to us on our first two windshields it instantly just starts to spread that crack right across your line of visibility on the windshield and it freaking sucks and it happens daily to poor jeepers honestly out there on the road on a daily basis this is a problem it's a known problem and today we have a solution for you finally so let me officially introduce you to scott kalinsky who is the sales manager over at high performance glass products and they have just officially released something that we have all been waiting for ever since the jl and now even the jt has been released what is it it is the jeep jl jt gorilla glass windshield and there it is. <laughs> guys and guess what's about to go on? The stepchild, Gorilla Glass. So for those of you who are new to maybe off-roading because they, they originally had something similar to this for the JKs, but we've been waiting forever for something like this for the JL and the JTs. So you might recognize the term Gorilla Glass when you're referring to a phone. So 
conceptually kind of the same thing. A lot of phone covers, the screen protectors, are made from something called Gorilla Glass. Now, if you thicken that and you put it to an automotive grade level and then you slap it on a windshield, it is not going to crack like these stupid Jeep factory windshields do every single time. Or even the aftermarket one that was an improvement but still sucks because there's cracks all over it. And it, it, it has been such a huge frustration for us. And this is something that we've been waiting on since we bought the JL over two years ago, back in the beginning of 2018. So this, guys, this is gonna be awesome. Okay, Scott, so tell me what makes this so much better and stronger than traditional factory windshields? All right, so in your traditional windshield, you have two layers of glass. The outer layer and the inner layer are the same thickness, so it's a symmetrical design. On our Gorilla Glass windshields here, we have an asymmetrical design. Three and a half millimeters of soda lime glass on the outside, the inner layer of laminate, it's an acoustic la laminate and then the inside layer is 0.7 millimeters of Gorilla Glass. Now, you might ask, why is the Gorilla Glass on the inside, not on the outside? That was my question. <laughs> <laughs> the reason for that is that Gorilla Glass on the inside actually acts like a mattress to absorb the energy of the impact that's hitting your windshield of a rock, a bird, a beetle, whatever hits your windshield, it's gonna absorb that. And that's how it makes it a stronger windshield. Okay, so another question that I wanted to ask is, now, the alternative that some people always ask about is plexiglass. So what's the difference between Gorilla Glass or maybe the benefits of Gorilla Glass over plexiglass? So Gorilla Glass is just that, it's glass. Plexiglass is not glass. So for those of you off-roaders that have ATVs or UTVs, you can get a polycarbonate windshield for your UTV, but if you go off-road and hit mud and dirt and you try to wipe it off, it's gonna scratch. Glass does not scratch. And so here's an example of a prototype part we built up. This is a single layer of Gorilla Glass. It's 0.5 millimeters. This is actually glass, everybody. You got it. That's crazy. It's glass. And so it's gonna. It's not gonna scratch like plexiglass does. It's gonna clean. Nope. You can rain exit just like you right. can your windshield to keep it nice, clean visibility. Absolutely, and you can you can bang on this all day long, and it's not gonna break. That's okay. insane. Now, you can strengthen it like we do in our Mustang quarter windows by laminating two pieces of Gorilla Glass together. And Good. this is the flexibility that it becomes. Instantly. Instantly stronger. Dude, you, you I'm so excited it. about that. Oh God, I would not do that <laughs> with a cheap windshield. <laughs> Just so you guys know too, there have been several counts that have proven not only are the Jeep windshields bad in every day-to-day -day wheeling, driving down the highway life, but even at the factory they have issues. Trying to install the glass on the Jeep, they have windshields break. Literally at the factory, they'll try to put a Jeep windshield in and they break. That's not, if you can't even install it without it breaking, like what's keeping it from breaking anytime the tiniest little thing hits it? Like daily, we get new cracks in our windshield. This is ridiculous. We're fixing it. This is gonna be awesome. Now, some of you actually might recognize the name High Performance Glass if you went to SEMA last year in 2019. And that's because they were there and they were shooting golf ball sized balls of ice at windshields at 70 miles an hour to prove that yes, they are indeed that strong. Not a scratch, right? Not a scratch. We shot the same windshield over 300 times that week and not even a scratch. Guys, now in addition to that, you might notice there's something cool going on with this truck rear windshield behind me. And I hear that maybe you might see something similar for the JT you, soon. You could see this maybe uh, for the JT in the future. Guys, yeah. this is definitely a company, again, high performance glass that you wanna keep an eye on because they are coming out with super rad innovative stuff, not just for trucks, not just for Jeeps, but also for a lot of cool race cars, including Mustangs. So honestly, it doesn't really matter what you drive. I would check them out because they might make something that'll make your life a heck of a lot easier.
Dude, our windshield is so much clearer right now. And that's one thing I want to mention too. So the clarity with the Gorilla Glass is different as well from what you might find in factory. It can be clearer. Yes, it's absolutely clear. The way the, the Gorilla Glass is manufactured, it leaves no draw lines in it. So it's almost absolutely perfect for clarity. So you mate that up with the soda lime on the outside and it's much clearer than the original glass. Because on factory glass, you can have those draw lines and occasionally those draw lines will match up perfectly with the soda lime on the outside. And suddenly yep. you've got this foggy section in your windshield that's just like there. And there's nothing you can do about it. So it's clearer. In addition to being stronger, you're not gonna have cracks, but in the extremely unlikely event that you might, they also have you covered for that. Absolutely. Now, high performance glass also has probably what's one of the raddest glass warranties I've ever personally come across. Let me know what it is. Let them know what it is. Two years for breakage. For the day of the installation, we'll warranty it for two years. Guys, who else does that? That's insane. And oh, now granted, Jeepers, Kevin, who's in the garage right now, if you're wondering where he is, this doesn't count if you roll your Jeep off of a cliff, but everything else that always crack, you driving down the highway, crack. Going down a trail, crack. Like anytime those rocks, those bugs, whatever, the speck of dust that has cracked our Jeep windshield in the past, you're covered for two years. And the warranty's super easy to register for. Absolutely. Literally the windshield comes with a little QR code, you scan it, you go in, you enter your email, and that's basically yeah. it. It's yeah. super duper easy. Now, Finally, before we wrap this all up, I have one more piece of super rad news for you guys, or at least I, I have good news, but I'm gonna let him give it to you, so. So we're gonna give All Light Bright Nation a great deal on any of our products. $50 off anything that we offer. Use Light Bright 50 as your co coupon code at checkout. It's good on the Fords, it's good on the Jeeps. Whatever you've got, we've got you covered. Guys, and. If there's something on their website that you want or there's something that you're looking forward to, they might not have it yet, just keep an eye out. Or better yet, we have a contact us page. If there's something you're looking for and it's not, you don't see it there, shoot us a message and we'll get back to you. Maybe they'll make it. You never know. You never know. Again, I'll put it here along with the discount code in the description below as well. But guys, this, this is gonna be a game changer. And of course, as always, we will give you an update as we put some miles on the stepchild and we put some wheeling into it to let you know just how it holds up. But I have super high expectations. Dude, Scott, thank you so much. Hey, thank you, Brittany. Oh, elbow, there we go. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Remember, you can find all your Light Bright Nation merch at lightbrightstudios.com, all your Light Bright Nation decals at pixeldecals.com. Guys, we love you, and we will see you next time. Focus. Where were you this whole time I did this video? What were you doing? Oh, I was doing Ultra 4 stuff. I was trying to get parts for the broken drive shaft from that jump that I had. And also my ribs hurt and my neck hurts. I Remember kinda... when he jumped it and then he broke the drive shaft and then he almost killed himself? Yeah, that time. That, and it wasn't wearing was... my Hans, but now I know why you need a Hans. Anyways, for those of you who were wondering, don't worry. Whoever wins the foster child also just got a brand new Corning Gorilla Glass from High Performance Glass Products as well. It's because we talk, love you guys. Did you already talk to them about doing a light bright discount for them? I did. Oh, well, don't I, forget. I would know that if yep. I was around. but. And if you're an E3 Off-Road member, you probably already got a message about an exclusive discount coming your way as well.